for sure. And I, and I think, um, you know, kind of uh, like Civil Air Patrol, we, I believe our mission as a Space Force is, is not just to find guardians and, and onboard them and teach them um, our tradecraft and, and, then, and then send them on their way. Uh, it's really to um, to develop them and invest in them so that they're better human beings, that they're better citizens, and that when we return them, uh, whether that's after four years or after forty years, um, that they're that they're better than than what, when they came to us. And I think that um, that's kind of shaped this whole conversation about core values. It's certainly a mission imperative, and there's things um, that that we need beyond that however, is this commitment that we have to everyone that raises their hand and wants to be a member of the team. And so it, it has been sort of, um, I guess you could say it was led, certainly originally we asked a couple um, chief master sergeants to take the lead and, and stand up the team. Um, from the very beginning of the core values journey has been all inclusive, uh, civilians, uh, officers, enlisted guardians have all been part of those conversations. and. We brought everyone together, oh gosh, two years ago now, and um, we brought all these folks together and we spent several days talking about what values are, why they're important, um, why industry uses them, why the services use them. Uh, and then we just had kind of open conversations about, about the concepts that people believed were important, not, um, not jumping to kind of the, the words, but to really talk about what, what ideals we thought were important and, and what concepts we thought were, were important. And we got a pretty good list together. And then, and then we took that list and we got together with some, uh, with some social scientists some cultural experts and, and, uh, and uh, we sat down with, with uh, some folks and we started to take those concepts and, and put some words to them. And then we went back to that original group that met. And that was sort of the recurring theme through the process as we, we continue to go back to the same group to say, hey, the, you were here when we started. Are we, are we still where you, know, you thought we should be? Are we, are we meeting the mark? And, and, um, and so that, that's how we came up with our four core values of connection, commitment, courage, and, uh, and character. And, and of all of those, it was really the, the value of connection that time and time again came up um, with our conversations with guardians, uh, in particular with young people, um, as something very, very important to them and something um, not necessarily unique. I think if you look across any of the core values of any of the other services, you'll find this importance um, placed on teamwork, on knowing each other, on, on, uh, on being good, um, um, good wingmen or good battle buddies. You know, it's, it's all there. Um, it's individually called out for us in the Space Force as connection because it was so important in these conversations. And so we're, we're really proud of, of that, of really of all four of them. And, and now as we're sort of laying the, the long text, if you will, that goes behind those four core, four core values so people aren't guessing what we mean when we say commitment or what we mean when we say uh, courage. And so that work is ongoing. And again, we keep going back to that original group. And I think by the end of the year, we'll have um, sort of that um, that book, if you will, that kind of gives you the the long read of 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 why they're important and what specifically all four of the values mean. Um, the other thing that we're trying hard to do is to not make our core values effort uh, independent, but that it's interwoven in everything else that we're doing. So as we're building our professional military education, as we're building our technical training, as we're building our promotion system, um, the core values are center in all of those conversations. Um, we really would prefer it since we're starting from scratch. If a guardian could come in and learn four core values and then um, not have to learn different things depending on the setting, like this will be the four things that drive professional military education. This will be the four things that drive the way that we um, rate your performance. These will be the four things that drive how we decide um, who to promote and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Even our annual awards will be centered around our four core values. In fact, we will have four guardians of the year instead of the normal kind of categorization that, that you would see 
um, by NCO or officer. Um, it's open to all guardians and we'll have a guardian of courage and a guardian of commitment and so on. And, and so we're really trying hard to operationalize these values and make them something that um, guardians kind of live and breathe all the time. 